How much money can you make streaming on Twitch? And not like the impersonal you, not like how much money can one make streaming on Twitch, because we know that the top streamers, the top 1%, the top 0.1% of Twitch streamers make fat stacks of cash with regularity. But we also know that it takes a crazy amount of time to get there, and there are a lot of factors that any smaller streamer will tell you kind of feel like they're out of your control at this point. But how much money could somebody like us make on Twitch? A smaller channel with a modest following. Well, I'm going to tell you exactly how much money we made on Twitch in 2021, how much time it took, where it came from, and if I think it's worth it for you to start your own stream. Hello, my babies. My name is Jeremy Bouchard. I am one half of the Nashville-based pop rock duo Moonlight Social. Welcome to our YouTube channel, where we share not just our music and videos and short films, but also the techniques and gear that we use to make them. This is actually the first video in a new series called Real Talk, where I dive into a no bullshit take on things that I think creators like you will care about. To that end, are you a streamer on Twitch? Are you curious about how Twitch works? Are you thinking about trying to start a new channel in the future? If so, let us know in the comments below what your handle is, what you stream, what you're thinking about streaming. I love to talk with people about this kind of stuff and let us know if there's more stuff that we can talk about in future videos that you are interested in when it comes to Twitch. Before we get into how much money we made in 2021 on Twitch, here's a little context. First of all, I'm sharing these numbers because I think it's healthy to be open about it. I think that it is helpful for a lot of people who are curious about the potential of streaming and I think it's really helpful for our peers who might just need a sanity check every now and then. Our stream is music based. We stream because we love performing music. We love connecting with new fans. We love building community, but make no mistake, we have to make money from this. It takes too much time and energy and honestly financial investment at the beginning to do it and just not expect anything in return. When we first started dabbling in streaming in 2019, there was kind of this weird thing with some of the early music streamers where like, talking about money seemed kind of taboo or like it was impure or like violating the vibe of the stream. And I just think that's so ridiculous. This is the entertainment industry. People pay for value. And if you are doing something that they find valuable and they want to support, you should let them do it. It's our dream to become full-time creators and we're not there yet. But the people who find value in our art, the people who resonate with the content we make, want that dream to come true for us too. We don't shy away from talking about it, and in the end, we think it helps people really rally around what it is that we're trying to do. So if you're like, oh, don't talk about the money on Twitch, it's not about the money, like, grow up. We are not by any means a large channel on Twitch. Uh, as I mentioned, we started streaming in 2019. We took it a little more seriously in 2020, and in 2021, we really committed to a schedule. We stream for about three times a week for a little over two hours of stream in 2021. Moving forward, we will be streaming for three hours at a time, three times a week, but we are by most accounts still a small channel. We have a little over 2000 followers total, but followers is a misleading stat in my opinion. I think you should be looking more at things like your unique viewers per stream and your total concurrent viewers. So on average, we hit about 70 unique viewers per stream and we have about 15 average concurrent viewers per stream. You know, obviously that number can go through the roof if you have a big raid, it could be lower on some days. Uh, in 2021, we gained 795 new followers. We streamed a total of 340 hours and 28 minutes, as I mentioned, usually streaming for a little over two hours at a time, and we had over 308,000 minutes of watch time. So now you kind of have an idea of our general channel size, the amount we stream, and we can dive more into the money numbers. From paid subs, meaning somebody came in and put down their credit card or their PayPal and paid specifically to subscribe to the channel, we made $859.20 in 2021. We live in the US and Twitch splits the subscription fee 50-50. So a $4.99 sub would in theory get split down the middle. Um, but that actually comes after things like taxes and bank fees and transaction fees. So we always end up taking a little bit less than, you know, half of $5. And after I explain some of the other money from some of the other subcategories, uh, we'll look at exactly how much we made per sub. In 2021, we made $112.04 from Prime subs. Prime subs are basically free subs that you get every month as a member of Amazon Prime. So pretty self-explanatory, but basically if you pay for Prime, you also get a Amazon Prime sub and you can give that to any channel of your choice every month. 
In 2021, we made $912.04 from gifted subs. A gift sub is when somebody in the community pays for somebody else to be subscribed to your channel for the month. It's very cool, it's very generous, it's a cool way to increase, you know, the overall vibe of the stream, and it's something that we really appreciate. And I think the fact that we actually made more from gifted subs than uh, people personally subbing is uh, kind of a, a cool little stat. And in the very last subcategory, multi-month gifted subs, we made $80.79 in 2021. So from all of our sub revenue in 2021 on our Twitch channel, we made $1,964.07. That came from a total of 816 subs. So this is the part where we can do some of the back of the napkin kind of math. Uh, by and large, most, if not all of our subs in 2021 were tier one subs. I think there might've been one or two that weren't tier one, um, but that basically just means that they were the base level $4.99 pre-tax sub cost, which means not accounting for taxes, those 816 subs generated $4,071.84 in revenue, which means we earned about $2.40 per sub, which is not bad. That means we only lost, you know, a couple cents um, on transaction fees for every sub. I've heard tales of people only getting like $1.50 per sub and, and other stuff. I've never actually seen that on our side, but I do know that people who live in other countries are susceptible to more fees. And so there's a good chance that if your following is, you know, outside of the US or if you're outside of the US, you might get a much worse split on your subs. It's also worth noting that there's a push for Twitch streamers to get a higher percentage of their sub revenue because 50-50 is one of the worst splits for subscriptions of any of the streaming platforms. All right, let's move on. Ad revenue. <laughs> I couldn't even say it without laughing. So ad revenue. Uh, in 2021, we made a whopping $10.00. And 69 cents from Twitch showing ads to our viewers. So, yeah. On to cheering or bits as it is commonly referred. In 2021, our Twitch channel made $2,087.38 from bits. I don't know for certain, but I would guess most Twitch channels see the plurality of their income coming from bits. Um, it's one of those things where we haven't done a ton to incentivize giving bits per se. You know, we have a thing where if there's a song that you want us to play that we've never heard before, we ask that you give at least 200 bits, or you could also be a subscriber. So, you know, it, it's not crazy. Most of the time, people give bits because they're sweethearts and dope, and we love them for that. It would be cool if Twitch showed you how many individual times you were given bits so that you could actually find the average amount of bits given per cheer. Um, I don't believe that's a stat that you can look at right now, but it'd be cool to know like, oh yeah, $2,000 worth of bits and you had, you know, whatever, 800 instances of somebody giving bits. So that means that each one is like, whatever that math adds out to $2.20 or whatever per um, per cheer. Just a side note here, giving streamers bits is definitely one of the most impactful ways to support them through Twitch's own monetization standards. It's because as a streamer, we get 100% of the bits. So one bit equals one penny and we get 100% of that. Um, the fee actually comes off of the purchasing side. So if you only buy 100 bits, you know, that costs you $1.40 and it's worth a dollar. So if you're able to, it's actually worth it to buy bits in bulk at a discount and then give those to streamers that you love um, because you'll know that they get 100% of those cheers as opposed to, you know, your sub, which we love as well, but it's like we just talked about the revenue split on a sub is, is much, much worse than, than on bits. All right, the last bit of monetization from Twitch itself that we made in 2021 was other bits interactions. Uh, we made $25.82 from that. You can also make some money from extensions and bounties and game sales. Those categories don't really apply to us, um, but even for streamers for whom they do apply, I can't imagine it's that big of a revenue driver for them. So that brings the total amount of money we made from Twitch itself in 2021 to $4,087.96. But there is one other revenue stream that we track on our Twitch channel that is very valuable that doesn't actually go through Twitch, and that is tips and donations via Streamlabs and PayPal. So if somebody wanted to give us cold hard cash from their PayPal account, 
they would click on a link that takes them to a Streamlabs page where they can then give us money straight from their PayPal account. It goes to our stream, they get a notification on the stream, our goal gets tracked, and everybody's happy. Sometimes they do it to request songs, sometimes they do it to thank us for playing a song, sometimes they do it to send a message or a meme or for the lols, but a lot of times they do it because they're just big old sweetie pies and we really love them for that. So, in 2021, we received a total of 243 tips for a total of $4,876.37. Uh, that ends up averaging to around $20 per tip. So for all of our revenue from Twitch in 2021, we actually made more money from tips and donations than all of the official Twitch sources of revenue combined, which I think is super cool. And that brings our 2021 Twitch revenue total to $8,964.33. Or about $747 per month, or about $26 an hour per hour streamed. Please also note that streamers, ourselves included, spend several hours a week working on their stream, making it better, troubleshooting, adding new features, doing all sorts of stuff that you know they don't get paid for. So we would probably spend four to five hours a week uh, off stream. So the actual you know $26 an hour per hour streamed stat, take it with a grain of salt. You definitely spend more time than just. The amount of time you spend streaming. Okay, so first of all, a few things to note. The revenue in 2021 was not steady by any stretch of the imagination. For instance, there was one month where we made a third of the total amount of tips we made for the entire year, right? In one month, we made a third of our donation total. Those months aren't guaranteed. Some streams we made like three dollars the entire stream. So it's really important to be grateful for and embrace the good and great days and power through those bad days where you just want to lay down on the floor and roll over because you feel like you're going backwards or nobody cares what you're doing or whatever million other dark thoughts that pretty much every creator has. One of the other big things to note is that all of the money we have made from Twitch so far goes right back into helping grow Moonlight Social. So one of the big expenses we had last year uh, was hiring a marketing company for like $2,500. Um, plus an additional ad spend, you know, that, that we gave to them. Whether or not I think that was worth it is a different video entirely, but the point is it was a decision we made and it was something that we used Twitch revenue to help fund. There are other things that we also did that were amazingly fun, no questions asked, including music videos. We actually spent the most money we've spent on renting a location ever to film a video called All My Friends, which is awesome. The community, our fans love it, we loved making it, and it wouldn't have been possible without revenue from Twitch. There's also some other, you know, maintenance stuff that's not that fun. We have to pay like $400 a year in LLC and franchise tax fees. We have to pay for our MailChimp account. You know, there are just basic things that pop up here and there that the stream revenue helps us cover. Things that we wouldn't be able to pay for without that stream revenue. There was one or two times where somebody specifically requested that we spend their tip on dinner, which is hilarious and adorable. So outside of those times, pretty much all of the money went straight back into the band bank account to try and make the band bigger and better than ever. This goes back to the point I was making earlier in the video, which is that the people who are watching us on Twitch know that they are supporting our goals. They know that they are supporting the growth of the band and they're supporting our dream of ultimately becoming full-time content creators. It's incredible. It shows that they have really bought into not just what we do, but what we want to do. And we couldn't do a lot of this without them. And it's led to them becoming real fans outside of just the Twitch stream, right? This is the money that we've made directly from Twitch, but a lot of these people have also hopped into our Patreon club or have bought merch from us or streamed us on the streaming platforms. So these are real fans who really support us, really love what we do and want us to be able to continue to do it. So is it worth it? I think that depends on your specific needs. Not everybody can find the time to commit the necessary days a week and hours a day to make a Twitch channel worth it for them. You know, we're in a fortunate position where we can create some time every week to do this. And we're grateful for that, but it does take time, right? We have been doing this since 2019. 2021 was our best year financially by far. Uh, we want to continue building it throughout the years, but we know that it's going to take more and more time and more and more effort. So. If it's something that you genuinely love to do, that you can find the time or make the time for, then I do think it's worth it, right? Don't just start streaming something that you think is gonna be valuable or something that you think is gonna bring eyes because you know it's popular if you don't love it. You have to love it because you're gonna spend so much time with yourself 
and with you know a few number of people watching you that if you're not loving what you're doing and if you're just trying to do something that's eventually going to make you money you're going to be miserable even if you get to the point where you are making a lot of money from it all we can do is work to provide a really entertaining stream with a lot of value and use that to drive people to our music and our videos and our films and all that kind of stuff and and hope that they get enough value from it where they want to turn around and support us and i think that you know our twitch channel as small as it is and as much as it's still very much in the growing stages is proof of that so yes if you can commit to a consistent stream schedule and do things that you love i do believe that you will end up on a path to financial sustainability i think we are on that path right now i know we have a lot of work to do but i'm very excited and optimistic about it you know just being real twitch has been a complete lifeline for us uh, in a lot of ways especially since the pandemic while we are a small channel we really pride ourselves on the amazingly cool community around us uh, the people who have jumped in to support us and believe in us and advocate for the art that we create it's just really cool we want to make this year our best year yet so we have created goals we are tracking them we are being very vocal about those goals we are sharing those goals with our followers so that they can feel like they are part of our growth and part of our success. And we're looking forward to making this the most successful year on Twitch ever. So what do you think? Was this helpful? Will you start streaming? Will you keep streaming? Let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. And plug time, if you want to come hang out in our Twitch stream and help us grow in this year, we stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 2 to 5 p.m. Central. It's a really great time. Some really quality people in the stream. Uh, we do have some, you know, silly humor and some silly jokes and the occasional naughty word but it, you know the vibe is always very positive it's always a good group of people so we'd love to see you there and if you want to brush up on your moonlight social original content hop over to watch one of our latest music videos here or here somewhere here on the screen i haven't actually put this together yet so i don't know where it's going to pop up but yeah check those out if you will in fact just dive into all of our content pretty please we love it seriously thank you in the meantime be good to each other be good to yourselves and thank you for watching we'll see you next time